All right, we're all buzzing here in studio. If you do not know, it is our brother Nate Burleson's last week in this exact fashion on the show. So we are breaking out all of these surprise guests. You never know who's going to drop by. And we have one right now that we're very excited about. The most important thing about this gentleman is that he played two years with Nate Burleson. He's the only person to ever call Nate Burleson Nate Dumison. He's also one of the greatest <laughs> athletes in any sport ever in the history of mankind. Ladies and gentlemen, Randy Moss. Let's go. What's up, Randy? Look at this guy. Hey, good morning. Good, good morning, y'all. What's happening with you? What's going on? What's up, Moss? How you doing, bro? Bro, I had to surprise you, bro. I watch you mostly every morning. Good morning, uh, Shrag and, and, and the team. But man, you've done a you've done a hell of a job, and I know you're moving on, man. So I just wanted to just come on before you leave up out of here, man, to just show you just show you some love. I appreciate that, man. It means a lot. Randy, let's get into this. So 2003, you're with the Vikings, of course. The team drafts this skinny little wide receiver <laughs> out of Nevada, third round pick. But he joins you and Dante to form one of the best aerial attacks in the league. Before we get into it, Randy. Here's a look back at some moments that you and our brother Nate shared on the sidelines. Now defense got to come through. We get the ball back. You make another play. You got one more in you? Yeah, I need the ball, man. That's what I do, man. I feel you. That's what I do. I feel you. We gonna get you that rock. Hey NFL fans. Right now. Tell I told y'all in the Tell first quarter. Okay. Any team. Okay. That wanna play the Minnesota Vikings one on one okay. single safety. Okay. We will end your game. Okay, remember that. Believe that. <laughs> Randy, we're laughing, you're laughing. What comes to mind when you look at this stuff and you think about playing with Nate? I just remember just Nate just coming in, and I think that uh, myself and the Viking fans was just wondering where the help was going to come from in the passing game. And I, uh, and I know that Nate had a, a hell of a career. Uh, he did disappoint, and, uh, you know, we had high expectations for us. As you see all the trash talking bes between myself uh, Kelly Campbell and uh, Nate himself. So uh, we had a lot of fun and just been able to just bring energy to the game, bring energy to practice. We had a lot of fun, man. So that just being able to, you know, see Nate uh, transition over to an analyst and him seeing me transition over to an analyst is just what makes uh, times like that so special. Randy, I'd do anything to be on that bench with Kelly Campbell, you, <laughs> and Nate Burleson, and be in that wide receivers room. What a group. Throwing Matthew Hatchett and the rest. Yeah. You guys had a really cool crew out there. Uh, love seeing you on our show. It's cool taking the time away from ESPN to join NFL Network for a moment. And we saw that game, that wild card win in Lambeau. You guys were the second team in the history of Lambeau Field to go in there and win a game in that postseason. You had two touchdowns in that game. Nate scored a touchdown. Randy, I want to start with you. Talk about that win and what that meant for your organization and your locker room when you guys went into Lambeau Field and beat Brett Favre and the, and the Packers in that huge, huge battle. Well, just like I said, I just just remember just the game and this, this the importance. And you're seeing Nate right here. Uh, being able to stiff arm a guy and getting up that left sideline right there. And just remember the, the performance that he had and just going back in the locker room and uh, just having his yards after the catch is, is one of the things that really stands out to me. And as you can see, his touchdown right there over the middle, I think it was a skinny post. Uh, so, yep, sure you know, was. him just being able, just him being able to, to just be a, a part of the Vikings and, and for us to be able to team up. Like I said, I really had some uncertainty because when you're talking about guys like Hatchet and Jake Reed and Hall of Famer Chris Carter leaving the team, is is kind of like, well, I know I'm getting doubled in triple coverage, but where's the help going to come from? So, like you said, a third mm -hmm. round pick out of uh, out of Nevada, Reno. You know, Nate Burleson came <laughs> in and started high stepping, and uh, we had a lot of fun, man. That's why, like I say, just seeing us just transitioning over to a. Um, another part of our life and knowing that he's moving on up there. And Nate, don't forget the little people when, uh, when you get up there to the oh, top. Uh, so, uh -huh. You know, <laughs> so, but, uh, <laughs> but like I said, man, it's just all, it's all fun. It's all love. And, and like I said, just being able to just look back at, at clips like that and just seeing, you know, both of us happily mm. married, loving family, loving wife yeah. and kids, man. It, it's a joy to see. Yep. It really is. I mean, two years together, 12 touchdowns for Burleson, including over 1,000 yards. Receiving that one was in 2004. You're saying all these nice things about him. So I ask you, Randy, why did you call my buddy here, Nate Dummison? <laughs> Do you remember calling him this? And tell me more about that. 
Well, I think that the dummy son had to come with just being a rookie. Um, and I think just make, making yep. rookie mistakes. And, and I think that just for me, um, you hear, you hear, you know, teachers always talk about being in the classroom and, and studying on the board. But I think that, you know, certain athletes um, need to be on the field to be able to learn also. So I think just just us uh, getting to know one another, uh, getting to un- uh, get a better understanding of, of 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 what buttons we can push and what what buttons we can't. So dummy center is just something yeah. that just just hit clicked and we ran with it. But, uh, you know, I've always <laughs> I've always talked about every time I talk to Nate off camera, as always, he did this funny impression. Of some guy back in Seattle used to call himself Nerp Nerp. Nerp Nerp. You remember that? <laughs> Nerp. I got you. Hold on. Do it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my. <laughs> they go Nerp Nerp right there. And he loves it. So, uh, nerp Nerp. So, like I said, like I said, it was just all fun and game. And, you know, you, you play in the National Football League, man. It's, it's not always – it's not always business like, you know, 24-7. Some ways you got to have right. find ways to put humor, put humor into the game and also have fun. And, and, you know, the time that me and Nate spent together was definitely something I'll never forget. We love it and we want to tap into it. Randy, you're renowned for your recall and your storytelling. We're going to bring up two photos of you and Dumison together. And then we're going to, I want you to guess what he was saying to you at the time, or if you remember what you were actually talking about, <laughs> share it with us. Here's photo number one, or you can make it up, whatever you want. Photo number one of Moss and Burleson. What comes to mind, Randy? <laughs> oh, I uh, that, 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 that clip right there is probably something laugh. And I just told you about being able to put some humor into the game. So I was probably either laughing at something our coach Charlie Baggett uh, probably said something yep. crazy, or him probably doing something nerp nerpish uh, to, to to get our day started. Oh my god! All right, nerp nerp is trending worldwide. We love it. Picture number two of Moss and Burleson. Take this one away, Randy. What comes to mind here? Just look like. You know, one of us one of us has scored a touchdown. Um, yep. It looks like we're in Detroit. That's what it looks like to me. Um, but it just looked like one of us has scored a touchdown and just, you know, just coming and just showing our brother, brother some love and appreciation. So, like I said, man, it, it was just, you know, I had high expectations for us um, any year that I played. And just having a guy like Nate coming in where, you know, the – you know, now these rookies are coming in first round picks and they don't even know if they're going to play or not. Nate came in as a third round pick and was thrown in the fire right away. So, like I said, it was just more of some uncertainty and not knowing, you know, what we're going to what we were going to get in Nate. And like I said, man, we hit the ground running from OTAs and training camp. He had a hell of a career, made some big plays uh, throughout his career. And like I said, just him making the transition and moving on up from good morning football uh, to a bigger stage, man, is, is definitely a blessing. No doubt about it. Uh, Brandy, I appreciate you calling in. Uh, it really um, warms my heart. You know, a, a lot of people had Randy misunderstood, didn't talk much. Um, he would do things in the community and didn't want the cameras to show up. Mm-hmm. And the, the organization would say, Randy, we want to we want to send some cameras to, to see you talking to the kids or giving backpacks and jacket, jackets away. And say, no, nah, I, don't, I don't do it for all of those reasons. So right away, I knew that he was a genuine person. And Randy would be more of a leader and a coach to the young players than some of our coaches were. Mm -hmm. So when I share stories about me growing up and maturing, I always go back to a lot of the things that Randy told me. Car rides on our way to an autograph session. When he was hurt, he bumped into me and he said, hey, you got a few weeks before I'm back healthy. Get your rocks, catch as many balls as you can, because when I come back, this is my team again. You already know. I remember being on the (laughs) sideline. Of course, of course. I remember being on the sideline and seeing Randy in Oakland. And I'm playing in, in uh, Seattle. Uh-huh. And I dapped him up. And he, he leaned in right before the game and he said, um, now it's your time. You're not playing in my shadow anymore. Uh-huh. Um, go out there and prove that you're worth every dollar. These are things that only a big brother would say to his little brother, pushing him for greatness. And I remember when he was inducted to the Hall of Fame, I said, congratulations, I love you. And you doing your thing in TV. And this, this, this is a prime example of me still walking in your footsteps. So, Randy, uh, thank you so much, man. I don't think I tell you enough how much you meant to me. When people call me a big brother and all these young wide receivers that I've mentored over the years, that's only because I had guys like you and Marcus Robinson to look at and lead me along the way. So I appreciate you calling in, bro, for real. You know, no, no doubt, Nate. Hey, man, the feeling, feeling is mutual, man. And I, 
I definitely wouldn't be a husband if I didn't do this, but I want to send a shout out and a happy birthday to my lovely wife, Miss Lydia Moss. Man, happy birthday, baby. I know you watched yeah. me and Nate and the, and the Good Morning Show this morning. So, baby, enjoy your birthday. Happy birthday. That's what's up. Happy birthday, Lydia. Appreciate Thanks, you, Randy. Randy. Randy, go fish. Hey, appreciate y'all, man. Always, always fishing. <laughs> hey, I'll be out there in a few yeah, hours, Shrey. God bless you guys, man. Thanks I know you will. You're the best, dude. Thank you.